What we need to do is we need to have both sides actually continue to sit at the table. The idea of walking away is unacceptable. We've got to get the government back opened. Obviously, you've got people suffering here. It's costing businesses in, in my district. Uh, it's costing businesses across the country. And on top of that, of course, we've got to have tough borders. We, we need to make sure we keep out terrorists and criminals and gang members and drug dealers. But there's no reason why you can't do both. And what I keep pushing for, in fact, members of the Problem Solvers Caucus are getting together first thing this morning again to say, is there a place we can actually find common ground and work together? The idea here is you've got to work together and not walk away. How, how many congressional people do you have sitting down who could agree to this? Because from the leadership from the two sides, you don't hear any of that. Well, you've got a lot of members that are, are actually getting together, uh, uh, every, been getting together for days now uh, to try to figure out, is there a way forward? I, I understand that we're going to have people walking away and that, that and leadership's got to take their position, but there's plenty of us who think we've got to keep working on it to get things done. How many people are we talking? Is, is this 20 members? Is this 50 members? Well, our, what, our, our, our caucus has 40 plus members. Half Democrat, half Republican. But we are looking at a shutdown that has never, once we get to Saturday, it would be the longest government shutdown ever. It would also be a day after you actually see federal employees who are missing their paychecks for the first time. Do you think that we're still going to be talking about a shutdown a week from now? I really hope not. I mean, I'm optimistic that if we keep working on it, keep sitting down at the table, we can get things done. Yesterday, we passed in the House again to get, we passed once again like we did last week, more uh, bills to actually get the government back open. We passed, you know, open more agencies yesterday. We're going to vote on more today. And actually, it's going over to the Senate. Now it's up to the Senate, of course, to pass that legislation and get it to the president. We're going to keep working and doing our job well, to get the government back open. Congressman, would you vote yes for, like, I, I heard at one point the president said two and a half billion. Would, would you urge Congress or Speaker Pelosi to, to say, okay, let's do two and a half. We'll, we'll meet you halfway on that and, and do it because they're, they're not going to. They're, they're are at zero, and this is definitely a political, um, you know, that they can make a stand, and, and, and they want Trump to have to, to come crawling back with his tail between his legs and, and open the government without anything. That's the, that's the end game for, for uh, Speaker Pelosi and, and um, Minority Leader Schumer, isn't it? Well, I don't think, uh, you know, I'm not going to speak for either one of them. I'll tell you what I think. Doesn't it look like I, that, I, 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 I think, actually, both sides need to keep working on this, and I'm mean, Obviously, I think there's a deal to be had here, right? You can have really? tough borders and reopen the government. There's no reason why it's either or here, right? It's just both of us actually think. sitting down. I yeah, would I would agree. And I think, by the way, you know, that's why it's ridiculous that both sides, and you hear this from a lot of my Republican friends, both sides think it's ridiculous that people are walking away and not sitting at the table. So I think we need to keep doing it day in and day out. And by the way, it's what I did in business. I know it's what a lot of people who are watching the show do every single day. They sit at the table until they figure it out. <laughs> and, Josh, and by the way, Josh, there's, a, there's a deal to be had here. Josh, let me, let me ask you something, just, just getting down to brass tacks, though. Sure. I mean, what, what is it really that's driving this? I mean, I know from the experience I had, the 14 years I was on the Hill, um, that you know, there is a, there's a loud voice in the primary base of your party as there is in my party. And isn't, it, isn't that what's driving the opposition uh, on your side of the aisle? I mean, really, your primary base says there is no way we can agree with anything on this president dollar. says. On a dollar. And for anything. It. She said maybe and, a dollar. And, 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 <laughs> right. She, and it, isn't really that's what's going on here. Anything that Donald Trump's for, you can't be for right now. And so we're really at, a, at an impasse. Well, I think you're right to say that extremists, extreme ideologues on both sides are always the ones who I think who are unwilling to move. And if you're going to take an all or nothing approach to everything, you'll never get anything done. You know, the, the Problem Solvers Caucus, our whole point is to actually find that, that common sense, common ground where people can come together and get things done. And this is one of those cases where, and I'm telling you, and we had a conversation last night about this, we believe in tough borders. You need to have tough borders to keep out criminals and gang members and drug dealers and terrorists out of our country, right? That's, not, that's unquestionable. But you also can reopen the government because there's no reason why our skies should be at risk right now with the air traffic controllers are telling us, right? There's no reason small businesses, so there's a business in my district called Elementary. It's a microbrewery. I was there this week. They, they've got a million dollars equipment. They can't reopen. They can't open their business because they're waiting on permits and the government shut down. Right, so you don't want to hurt anybody, hurt small business in the process, hurt growth, hurt safety while you're trying to get this done.